you are salaried and you're worried that you're not saving anything at all. You don't have to bite your nails in anxiety because it's quite possible that you're making some savings even without your knowing about it. Your provident fund is accumulating in the background. Do you know that 12% of your basic salary is being saved for you in the background as your provident fund? The best part is your employer is matching your contribution. This means some saving is happening by default for you. This is a mandatory requirement for all companies that employ more than 20 people. So when you negotiated your salary, you would have noticed that the employer would have offered you a CTC, cost to company. And what you get on hand is a little lesser than what you thought you would. What the employer would have done is they would have added their contribution to your provident fund in that calculation. But what is nice about this arrangement is that some saving is happening even without your doing something specifically about it. The provident fund is a mandatory requirement which means how it will be collected and how it will be managed is determined by the rules and regulations and the law formed by the government. Your employer has two choices. The money that has been collected by you and from all the other employees can be put together and can be managed by your employer on your behalf. They have to form a trust and they have to abide by the regulations to do this. Or this money can be managed centrally by the central board of trustees of the employee provident fund organization. So whenever you have a PF contribution and you want to know what is going on, you could go to the EPFO website to find out what are your rights, what, how is this money managed and how you can withdraw this money. The management of the money in the PF account is subject to guidelines of the government. This money is invested according to what are called prudential norms, which means they can be put in government bonds, in specified corporate bonds and have to be invested only on, in these avenues. And the money will earn an interest every year and at the end of the year you will get your statement which shows what was the money that was invested, what is the interest that was earned and what is the balance in your PF account. When you change your employer, then you have to open another PF account because the person who is contributing has now changed. So therefore, you cannot leave this money with the previous employer idle only because the interest will be earned only for three years in a inert provident fund account. So the thing for you to do is to transfer these balances from your earlier employer to the new employer. That's an effort you have to make to ensure that your provident fund is active and is earning interest. Today, this can be done online. The EPFO has enabled uh, an account opening facility in which you can link your provident funds with all your employers and you can also use uh, the forms that are available there to transfer your provident from, from one employer to another employer. When you do this, you keep your account active and you continue to earn interest on the balances that are being accumulated in your interest for your long term benefit. So when you move from one employer to another, you have to only transfer the money, you can't withdraw it. However, if you have completed five years of service and if you do not intend to work further, you're going to be on your own, then you can withdraw your provident fund. But this amount which you withdraw may be subject to taxation based on the rules that may be applicable at that time. So it's important for you to remember that you can allow this money to lie to earn interest for you as long as you are employed and there are contributions that keep this account active. You can also take a loan against the balances that are in your PF account. You can apply for it and there is an interest that will be charged on this loan. It can be repaid in installments and your provident fund is available for you to use as a loan. You can also add contributions which is called voluntary PF. Obviously, this is not going to be matched by your employer, but you can add more amounts and say, I want to invest a little more than what is mandatory. Suppose you didn't have a job which had a provident fund feature. What could you, you can open 
a public provident fund account or a PPF account. This is an account which you can open with nationalized banks and you can contribute a regular amount towards your retirement corpus into this PPF account. Now this PPF account will also earn an interest which will get credited every year and this is a scheme which is run by the government. The PPF is for those who are self-employed and who like to save for the long term. So a provident fund helps you to save for your future needs and it helps you to accumulate money over a long period of time. There are unscrupulous employers. The EPFO has so many of them who don't actually put in their contribution. So to protect yourself, you have to ask for those annual statements and you should know whether the contribution has been made and whether interest is being paid. It's also nice to know that these contributions are eligible for tax deductions. The government makes this entire thing attractive for you by giving you the ability to take a deduction for the contributions you make to your provident fund account and to your PPF up to an amount of a lakh of rupees. Uh, so it's important to take this benefit in your own interest and be sure that your employer is also doing their bit. So don't sulk about not saving. There's something cooking in the background for you.